Welcome back to another video for Lawrence Training Academy. Uh, we're here today. I am with my Hook 212 triple shot. And what I'm going to show you is how to set a voltage overlay. Now, um, I know that a lot of times, you know, guys will get, you know, they'll go turn their unit on and it'll sit there and it'll flicker, it'll flash, it, you know, may come on for a minute or two and shut back off. And a lot of people assume, oh, well, there's something wrong with my unit. Well, most of the time when that happens, it means that you have low voltage. Well, most of you guys also know as, you know, as well as I do that if you unplug the power supply out of the back of the unit and test it, a lot of times it's going to show 12 volts. A lot of people think that, oh, I've got 12 volts here at the end of my plug, then it means that I've got a bad unit. Well, that isn't always the case, um, you know, because once it's plugged in, there's no way of really telling how much voltage is going to it once the unit is on and actually drawing power. And so uh, the best way to be able to determine if it's like maybe some sort of a, a corrosion buildup at the fuse or maybe a bad connection and your voltage is dropping out once there's an actual draw is you can go in here and we can set up a voltage overlay. Now, you have to set an overlay on a particular page like this. You can't go in and set an overlay on your home screen. It's got to be in on one of the specific screens. So I'm going to go here. Now, to set it, I just simply press my power button. And then I go to edit overlay and press enter. Now you're going to see where it shows finish editing and options. Well, when we're done, we will do the finish editing. But for now, we're going to press the little button for options, which is our enter button. And then we're going to go to add. And then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom to other. And we're going to select it. And now you're going to see that there's not anything, nothing happened when I selected it. Something did happen, it you just couldn't see it. So what we're going to do is keep arrowing down and you're going to see more choices pop up. So supply voltage, that's the one we want to select. So we press enter. You'll notice that there's a little check in the box right there. And then you'll see that it popped up in the corner right there. Well, right now I've got 13.7, which is great. Uh, my unit's running fine, uh, no flicker and flashing. Um, but if it drops down below 12, specifically below 11, that's when you're really going to start seeing problems. Like I said, usually the causes for that is corrosion within your fuse or at one of the connections, or let's say you connected your unit for power under the dash, but there may be uh, corrosion somewhere inside your boat between there and the battery. It's good to go and test that out. Um, you know, look at the different connections, just <clears throat> look really closely at everything to make sure that like, there's none of that buildup. I can't tell you how many times I've went to work on a boat and it found out that there was just a little bit of corrosion somewhere and all it took was just to kind of reconnect the, uh, the wiring for it and it fixed all the problems. So, um, like I said, that was it. Um, I just wanted to show you that guys, that's kind of like a simple trick on here that a lot of people don't realize. Um, and that, that's basically it. All right. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it below and hit the subscribe button and the little bell. This will allow you to get notifications every time I release a new training video for your favorite Lawrence product. Also, I wanted to give you guys some really exciting news. We will have our own very own website pretty soon, LawrenceTrainingAcademy.com. It's going to have even more of your favorite in-depth, comprehensive training videos, so keep an eye out. Of course, I'll be sure to let you all know along the way when it will be up and running. And don't forget, when you watch videos from Lawrence Training Academy, the difference is night and day. Alright, I'll see you all next time.